I'm going to cover how to run a simple linear regression in R uh, or in R Studio in this case. It's a little different than how we'd run it in a traditional Windows based statistics package. For this exercise, I've already gone ahead and loaded the data set here. See it circled there in the lower left. Um, loading that data set allows me to uh, start working with it right away. You'll also see that the data set is displayed up here in the upper left hand corner. So this is the data set for our current week's lab, and this is the data set I'm working with, Eon 2018. I can change this name if I want to just data set, which can make things easier. Um, by typing the name that I, I want, in this case, maybe data set is just a nice name, um, but it doesn't have to be a uh, data set. It could be dog, it could be, yeah, it could be whatever I want it to be, just any name. Any name will do, could be the name of the data set. And then I'm gonna use this reverse arrow in order to uh, place whatever I want into the word uh, any name will do for the computer. So any name will do would be a code for um, that data set. I'm just gonna change this back to data set to make it simple. You see I've used that before. And data set now is gonna be Eon 2018. That way I don't have to type Eon 2018, I can just type data set every time. And uh, we'll know what I'm talking about. You'll remember that when we wanted to do a plot of data set, we chose variables that we thought were uh, interesting to plot. Uh, for example, we did um, a comparison of total vegetation cover typing it out here, and then we use the tilde to say by, and then we might have chosen something to predict that, which might be something like bear round. Okay. Um, I, when I'm doing a plot, I'm not finished here. I need to tell um, the computer, or in this case R, what data I'm working with. And so in this case, I need to tell it that data set here in my dropdown um, is the data that I'm using for this plot. And when I plot those together and hit enter, then I get a plot of these two things. Well, it turns out linear regression is very similar to this. So we can recall by using the up arrow on your keyboard. So look down at the arrows on your keyboard and you'll see that there, of course, you've got up and down arrows and side to side. If you use the up arrow, it'll go back to previous commands. So by pressing the up arrow, I was able to go from a blank caret up to my old command. Uh, once I have that old command there, I can change this command just a little bit um, to give me something um, a little bit more interesting. If I just type LM here, LM stands for linear model, and this will do a linear model. I wanna store that linear model in a word, I'm gonna call it REG for regression. And then that regression is gonna be a linear model of these two factors. And so I'd be fitting a regression to these two factors where total vegetation cover is predicted by bear. When I've done this, you'll see that reg uh, doesn't, it doesn't produce anything because it's stored in the word REG. So when I press REG and enter, you'll see it'll call up the formula it will call up some coefficients because it created some coefficients for the equation. And, um, but that's all it's gonna tell me. If I wanna see the ANOVA table for reg, I can just type ANOVA reg. And there's my ANOVA table, similar to what you may have seen uh, in a lecture on ANOVA in regression. If I want a summary of the output of the regression, I just type summary reg. And there's a summary of my regression. And finally, if I wanna add um, the regression line to my plot, I use the AB line command and an AB line for regression now. 
will add my regression line to my plot. Okay, that's it. Um, just with those few commands, we've covered uh, the entirety of regression in simple linear regression in R. So we started with our data set. We remember that we have this plot command that we could use. The, we remember that the tilde can be interpreted as saying by, and the y-axis variable or the dependent variable is going to be to the left. It's going to be the first thing you write, and the predictor variable or the independent variable is going to be written after the tilde. We use and then we have to have data set equals and tell uh, R what data set we're using uh, to find these variables. We also used the um, LM, the linear model command, to slightly modify and use the, almost the same text we had here, but when we put LM as the function that we're using, uh, it'll compute a linear model for the relationship between those variables, and we stored it in the word reg. Then we did an ANOVA on reg, and we summarized reg to get all of the values that we're interested in for linear regression. That's it.